Well, we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, and there's nothing better than biting into some delicious tamales. KVU's Pamela Combe talks to the owner of Tamale House, a neighborhood spot that's been around for decades, but getting where they are today, it sure wasn't easy. It's no secret East Sausen has changed a lot over the years. When I opened in 84, it was a time when East Austin, um, people were afraid to come over to this area. Before it was known as trendy, East Sausen was a place some people avoided. I believe in sauteing everything. Tamale House owner Diana Valera also felt like her neighborhood was a bit neglected. It kept this area kind of not developing in the same direction as the other areas of, of Austin and uh, a lot of the character and the traditions that are unique to the Hispanic and African American culture were maintained. Tamale House was one of East Austin's gems. Valera closed it in 2000, but in 2012, her kids encouraged her to open it back up. They felt, and I felt as well, that the area was developing um, in a way that it would probably be good to reopen. This family-owned business has witnessed all of the area's growth. What you have is a unique area of Austin, uh, rich in culture and, and uh, traditions and, and food, a unique food, music, and so it's really a little gem that was preserved, uh, maybe in the wrong way. And Valera's dream is to continue preserving the area and the Tamale House name. I mean, look at this food. And we continue with the same original eight items that my mother had on her menu. They have no intentions of going anywhere. So I'm glad that we're still here because on this street, which is 6th Street, they're probably just three of the original family businesses. Valera has done her best to preserve the culture and her family's traditions because that's what makes East Austin special. For KVU News, I'm Pamela Cohen.